Sister One, it is I, Christ. My Mary is here as well. Dear Elizabeth is here with us. She will speak about moving forward in chaotic times and empowering the power of your spirit. Her message today is for all who are suffering, and she brings her wisdom, compassion, and healing to all who have given up, given up hope and lack faith. Today is a powerful day of resurrection in the spirit of mankind. Hope, faith, renewal, rejuvenation are all attributes of the human spirit. Elizabeth wants to infuse all of these within your spirit once again today. She is here to help humanity to move forward and to trust in their divine plan. Each soul has a divine plan that serves this planet both individually and collectively. Today, Elizabeth comes to help each of you to access your own divine plan so you may move forward into your soul mission with grace and ease. Shall we begin? If there is an aspect of your human self you felt detached from, think of it now. Hold the intention to reclaim that today. If there's a part of your life that you've been, that has, you felt has been draining you or pulling you in two directions, think of it now. Be pre- prepared to know your truth. Call forth the energy of Father, Mother, God, Cosmic Goddess, Mother, Divine Sophia, and thank her for blessing you with your presence and her divine might. Thank her for helping you to embrace the aspect of yourself that you have felt ashamed of, scared of, or do not understand. Ask Cosmic Mother to call back and reclaim all the parts of your being that you felt abandoned, rejected, or misunderstood. May you call forth the energy of rejuvenation as you rise beyond struggle, rise beyond constraint. Thank the energy of Divine Mother for lifting you up and blessing you with your heavenly light calling forth the energy of the angelic cosmic beings and allow them to immerse your energy body in beautiful light code activation. Thank them for returning and realigning your frequency so that you can express the truest, purest, and most complete version of yourself. As you welcome your light, let it penetrate your being, rejuvenating your energy and upgrading your DNA. As you call forth this frequency, May you feel replenished, rejuvenated, regenerated, reborn, reactivated once again into the power of your spirit. Now bring your hands to your heart and breathe this in. Allow yourself to feel the energy of faith, hope, rejuvenation, renewal, and the power of your spirit so that you may be able to move forward into your life plan at this time. And so it is. And so, dearest one, yes, it is I, Christ. Dear Elizabeth is here at this time, holding the space for each of you once again to strengthen the power of your spirit, to strengthen the energy of the essence of the truth of who you are, allowing yourself to feel the power of your spirit so that you can move forward into your life plan, into your soul mission with grace and ease, without struggle, without strife, with a sense of balance, with ease and grace, and a sense of what you call a solidarity of connecting to your true spirit, connecting to the power of your spirit, just as Elizabeth connected deeply to the power of her own spirit. She was able to access her beautiful gifts and talents and the attributes that she held so deeply within her of hope, of faith, of love, compassion, kindness, generosity. 
fortitude, strength, wisdom. As you call forth the attributes within yourself, as you call forth the power of your own spirit upon this day, know that all the attributes that you hold and you have garnered through many incarnations of time are now standing with you. As if all of these beautiful attributes are lining up for you to embody and to embrace the power of your spirit so that you may move forward into your life mission. And so as you honor the power of your spirit, may you begin to feel the blessings upon your own soul of a deep abiding faith and a strong feeling of serenity that you are truly in the frequency of the power of your spirit embodying the essence of who you are. With every breath that you take, may you begin to feel the strength inside of you. And so as dear Elizabeth steps forward to help each of you to embody the power of your spirit, she has held the strength of her own spirit, not only in the lifetime in which she assisted me in my own divine plan, but through many incarnations of time. And so today she's here to strengthen each of you so that you can feel stronger in mind, body, and spirit. Greetings, dear one. Yes, it is I, Elizabeth. As I thank Jeshua for the beautiful introduction, I want to thank each of you for coming forward today to honor yourself, to honor the power of your own spirit, to honor the power of your own soul, to allow yourself to fully and deeply feel the presence of your own light. So you see, dearest ones, you were created in light, and light you shall remain. And each of you are powerful messengers of light. as you begin to hold more light within your physicality, you shall begin to sparkle like the beautiful spirit that you are. And as you truly begin to feel this energy of your own divine spirit radiating from your own physicality, from your own consciousness, you shall begin to change what you call the trajectory of your own life pathway. From fear into love, from doubt into hope, from frustration into faith. And therefore you call forth this renewal within your own soul that you were here to master all aspects of your humanness so that you can truly live in the power of your spirit. Regardless of what is happening through chaotic times, you're able to now dig deep and to call forth the energy of that which you are destined to do to be, to become, to embody.
during my lifetime with Yeshua when I assisted him before, during, and after the crucifixion. I indeed knew that it was my mission to serve him and to call upon the power of my own spirit and the essence of my own soul to call forth the strength so I could assist him and complete my own mission as well. Today I ask you to simply take a deep breath and allow the beautiful energy of the attributes of your powerful spirit to now fall over you as if it is like a soft, gentle rain. And you are receiving the beautiful gifts of your divine self. Each of you are unique and have your own life, journey, and circumstances and experiences that have made you who you are in this incarnation. And the power of your spirit is honoring each of you for all that you have done and have gone through and have completed through many incarnations of time. And this is a part of your mastery. This is a part of your self-mastery as you are now being renewed again upon this day. And so take a deep breath. Place your hands on your heart. Breathing deeply into your heart. Connecting with the tenderness of your own soul. Seeing yourself beyond this lifetime. And visualizing yourself as a beautiful star in the midnight sky. Set the intention as you breathe to see your true essence. Know that you're part of something greater. And understanding and realizing that you are not alone. Many angels and divine masters are gathering around you. As you know that you're connected to and through the divine matrix. Connecting the power of your spirit. Connecting with the light within you. Allowing this energy to reveal itself to you. Let its energy feel your human form. As you allow yourself to feel this energy. Allowing yourself to feel connected to the energy of all that you are. As you are activated upon this day, may you repeat to yourself, I activate my infinite light. I activate my power to know. I activate the ancient master within. I return to the truest form of myself. I am light, I am love. I am an ancient wisdom embodied in the power of my spirit. I remember, I remember union. I remember union, I remember union. And as you bring your hands to your heart space, breathe and receive any guidance, images or memories that you are now experiencing the master of the power of the spirit has been once again reactivated within you as you're able to move forward with ease and grace into this incarnation through all time and space may you hold the power of light within the true essence of your being May you hold the true power of the light within the essence of your being. May you feel the strength. May you feel the love. May you feel the power. May you feel the glory. You will simply begin to breathe by dear ones, breathe. For as I, Elizabeth, I hold great strength. And am sending and reinforcing the power of your spirit that you may master all 
that you have made the agreement to do in this incarnation from your own soul. I know, dearest ones, that living on the earth plane is not easy. And that for many it can be quite torturous, sad, disappointing, frustrating, grueling, painful. And yet as you deepen your connection to your spirit, rise above your humanness to the best of your ability, and know the power of your spirit is that which is the guiding force that will carry you through difficult times, through lonely times, through desperate times. Your earth plane does not have to be that of suffering. And as you rise above this frequency of what we call the collective consciousness on the earth plane of suffering, you will not experience suffering because it will no longer be necessary because the collective consciousness has risen its frequency into joy, into peace, into tranquility. And you say, how can this suffering end on the earth plane? It begins with one individual at a time making the effort and the attempt to rise into the power of their spirit even during troubled times and living from the truth calling forth the attributes of strength and renewal, rejuvenation, hope, faith, love, compassion, kindness. And there you are, standing in the light of your own magnificence, of your own brilliance. For many of you, there will be like a light switch that will come on. That you will feel the power of your spirit. Even if it's momentarily, you shall begin to feel the strength of your spirit being reactivated within you. Moments of excitement and anticipation that you are now mastering and living as a physical, spiritual being of light, that you have integrated your spirit into your humanness, into your consciousness, not simply living from your humanness, not simply living from your limited mind, but empowering the power of your spirit. I was able to master this in my incarnation with Yeshua to a great degree. And that's why I'm bringing this to you now to help each of you. It is possible. It is doable. But it takes dedication and willingness to allow your humanness to surrender to your spirit. To let go of the ego to some degree and allow the power of your true spirit to be the guiding light that guides your life. That is the truth of who you are. And when you begin to understand this, your life will become easier. You will have greater wisdom, greater patience, greater knowledge, greater understanding. But there is a reason for all things. And that you are never alone. that you've incarnated into this lifetime to become the master that you are. But all of the masters gathered together in the collective consciousness of humanity. There will be a shift that will allow the planet once again to return to peace is why we all come Joshua 
Holy Mother, Mary Magdalene, myself, dear Sarah, all of the masters that are working with humanity to help them to rise above their humanness and to be at peace. And so today I infuse the energy of rejuvenation, renewal, hope, faith, reactivating your consciousness to remember, to remember the power of your spirit. And so once again, take a deep inhaling breath and breathe in its frequency. Letting go, letting God, letting go, letting God. Letting go, letting God. And once again, as you now begin to understand that the aspect of your human self that you've detached from is no longer detached that you're embracing the aspects of your divine self and transmuting any lower vibrational frequencies of shame, blame, fear, rejection, abandonment. You call forth the power and the rejuvenation within you. Divine Father, Mother God is, is uplifting you, blessing you, and restoring you back to your divine light. As you're being flooded now with a beautiful energy, a beautiful light code activation, I once again are retuning you, realigning you to the power of the frequency of your spirit so you can express the truest, the highest, and most complete version of yourself. Activating your light. Let it penetrate and rejuvenate you, upgrading your DNA. As you are replenished, rejuvenated, regenerated, reborn, back into the light. And so simply take a deep breath and feel the power as you allow yourself to feel this energy. And now call forth the energy of Joshua, Mary Magdalene, Holy Mother, thank you for inviting me in to my sacred light. Thank you for helping me to connect to the source of divine love and divine light that I am today. With each of your help, I'm willing to remember who I truly am. And I choose to reconnect with the divine aspect of my own spirit. I choose to remember and honor my divine vision, my divine mission. I choose to acknowledge and call forth the divine teacher, the great master within me. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Holy Mother. Thank you, Father, Mother God, for being my guide and for leading me in the cave of creation, helping me to be now into what we call the cave of creation, so I can breathe into this frequency as I become incubated, rejuvenated, restored in the beautiful cave of creation, where the energy of Mother Gaia rejuvenates me, restores me back into the power of my spirit is that which we did during the lifetime of Joshua and Mary. We would enter into the cave of creation to be rejuvenated, restored. We connect to the power of our spirit as we understood to teach us to learn, to share, is to receive, to awaken the divine within us. We call forth the divine master within our heart, our beautiful spirit, to step into the path of light as we awaken the teacher within, the master within, the spirit within us. 
Thank you, Holy Mother. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Mary Magdalene. Thank you, Father and Mother God, for helping me and for leading the way so that I, too, may step into the power of my spirit, just as you, truly knowing that as you allow yourself to see this beautiful energy upon this day, the teacher within has been activated. The master within has been activated. The power of your own soul has been activated. And truly may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you wherever you are, God is, and all is well. The power of the Spirit, can you feel it? Can you feel the energy now coming down to your crown chakra, into your heart space? You now remain in the cave of creation, deepening the connection to Mother Gaia, deepening the connection in your own physicality, deepening the connection to your own soul. So simply take another deep breath, my dear one. And know that I am Elizabeth is here as your teacher, as your guide. as a messenger of hope that you're able to master that which you came to do in this incarnation to embody your beautiful spirit and your physicality as you truly are a physical, spiritual being of light and therefore your light is spreading out onto the world helping others so they may be at peace helping others so that they may grow into the light that they are. Helping others so they may feel the energy of truth upon their own soul. And so I ask you, dearest ones, to simply bring yourself now out of the cave of creation, coming back into your consciousness and feeling the power of your own soul feeling calm, feeling centered, feeling at peace as you've activated the master within, the light that you carry, the beauty that you hold shines brightly to your vessel. So we see you, see you, see your energy upon this day. The beautiful energy of the white light of God. We see, you'll see, you'll see all your energy with the beautiful energy of the white light of God. We see, you'll see, you'll see all your energy with the beautiful energy of the white light of God. And so simply begin to feel the frequency of your spirit strengthening your hope, your faith, and your renewal deep within your own consciousness. But despite what is happening within the world and in your world, you're able to now hold the power of your spirit to move forward, to carry on. In order to complete your mission, without struggle, without strife, that you're able to move forward in peace, Be still, be still, be still, and know that you are loved. Love the unmeasured, love the uncomprehension. Be still, be still, be still, and know that you are loved. Loved the uncomprehension. So visualize yourself once again in this beautiful white light of God, invoking your spiritual light. Know that you are ready to walk the path of light, to walk the path of truth, that you're ready to move beyond all limiting stories, experiences, and fears, that you're aligned with the path of light and the path of truth. The greatest gift that you can bring to the world is living in your divine spirit. You bring wholeness within the essence of your being. And so allow yourself to feel this energy of the divine light that you are 
allow the power of your spirit now to be your signature vibration, which is peace, love, hope, faith, rejuvenation. All of the beautiful attributes that you hold and carry can now step forward to be the calling card for your own life. Go now, my dear one. Prepare yourself to receive as Joshua, Holy Mother, Mary Magdalene, and myself stand with you, knowing at this time that you are a powerful warrior of light and the power of your spirit shall always prevail. Go now in peace and be still and know that you are loved. And we thank you, Elizabeth. We thank you, Holy Mother. We thank you, Mary Magdalene. We thank you, Joshua. We thank you, Father, Mother God. We send our blessings and our healing onto Mother Gaia and to all souls and to all life forms as we now receive this beautiful message and healing from Joshua and dear Elizabeth to help us to step forward into the power of our divine spirit. We are grateful. In this we give our blessings. And so it is.